Okay, okay. Okay, so over here you felt what? Nauseous, like literally nauseous okay. over there. Okay, when I first walked in, I saw somebody's feet, brown boots, like some type of dance, like they're doing some kind of weird jig. Coming past through here, I feel, all I feel is angry. Mm. Pure anger. And then when I'm coming in here, I'm seeing some, someone holding a silver hand up, but it's not, I don't, they're not like killing anybody, but I see them like threatening suicide or like yelling. It's like a silver pistol type gun. And someone very angry, it's like a male energy, it's very, very angry. I'm now they're showing me, they're showing me for some reason like a, now they're showing me like a TV or something. There could be a uh, history of family violence in this. I absolutely believe that. I do, I do. And she's saying that, I'm just like, I feel it too, it's weird. I can't even yell and yell. I never opened myself up to allow that. I yell and yell. And what was kind of unique is as we entered here, there was a bird that was stuck here. And luckily, Carol opened up the door back there and the bird got out. So. Oh, I know. There was a reason for you. I yeah. felt that there's yeah. a reason for us to come in here. It could be. It could be. And we haven't been in here in a, co- a good couple of years. I can tell you that. Yeah. So that's just, if that's not a symbol or some kind of sign, I try to barricade the whatever it is that's here. Huh. And they can stay here. And we, yes, that's why we definitely do need a cleansing after this. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to go over some things. And what type of ho- what type of horns? It sounds like you're actually what. Yeah. Actually, it sounds. It all it almost sounds like she's describing a Wendigo. Yeah. A, a Wendigo. A windingo it would be demonic that has like deer horns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, let me tell you something. Okay. You have no I didn't even tell you about this. There was no I way I think it was gonna play a role a part in today. Ever. So, no one really knows this. I mean there's only a couple people we so, really shared this with. Because of the activity that had happened, I had set up a trail cam out back facing the backyard. So a couple days go by, go out there, I guess that's a Looking through the fix, pictures. And there is what I can only describe as a demonic figure. A goat. It was a goat. Outside our perimeter. <clears throat> uh, on the fence line, I have the chills. 
or so bad. Oh my god. Demonic. That's the next thing. So I said, okay, for shits and giggles, she I'm going to go back out same time of day with my with my camera. Like I'm gonna stay at the same angle. Maybe it was a tree limb, maybe it was this, but you know, all these factors. It never showed up again. Wow. And in the court in the sequence of the photos, you can see it walk down the fence line. So when you said that, I was like, what you described was exactly what she got. It was on her her old computer. I really wish you guys could see it. Uh, We didn't really want to tell too many people that because we don't want to scare people or not have people, you know what I mean? Or think we're we're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but the the images that were on that trail cam, I remember her going, man, get in here, look at this shit. And I, it scared me. I, I even sent it to other investigators, you know. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's, wow. it, that's exactly what I said. <clears throat> you know, just it. And what you're seeing is sort of like, it had like deer horns. Mm-hmm. So that would fall under, wind, yeah, Wendingo, which is demonic. And that has something which is associated with cannibalism. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. And that's oh. spot over there, I feel hella nauseous. What was that? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I just keep getting chills. But not chills. Let's, let's go do their interview. Yeah.